hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to change your business account on instagram to a personal account let's dive in first thing you want to launch the instagram app then you want to hit the lower right corner then when you're at your profile you want to hit the three straight lines on the top right corner when you're at there you want to focus on settings and privacy first option then you want to scroll down to the section that is named for professionals you want to click on business tools and control when you're at business tools and controls you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you would find that you could simply switch account type okay this is where you can switch from business account to personal from business account to creator account as you can see currently i have a business account right and i had the options to switch to these both two accounts back to personal and back to creator account what is the main benefit of this well first of all if you want to make your account private right if you want to make your account private you cannot still have a business account because you cannot make business account private you have to go back to either a personal account or creator account and after you switch you can go back and you can make your account private this is one of the main benefits because you will be able to hide your followers your following list your content otherwise with the business account you cannot hide none of these this is how you turn your account from business to personal account for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to repost a story from someone else on instagram let's launch the instagram app okay let's say we want to do this one over here right as you can see when you click on the top right corner the three dots you don't have any option to do anything about it so what we can go about it essentially first option will be this you want to screenshot it right you can screenshot it if you want to share this one after you screenshot okay you want to save it then you want to go back right you saw the account then you want to click on add story this is the picture and then you want to make sure that you tag the person you click mention and here you tag the person this is option number one if you go back right if you go back and again you click on on the story or the same one right the second option will be if you click uh, you can go on the actual profile of the person and you want to look if they have the actual picture if they have the actual picture you can actually send this picture and add yourself to it right but so far instagram did not actually add a manual feature in which you can share other people's stories on your own so this is how you can go about it screenshot the actual story tag the right person right and this tag will appear as a message in the account and most likely they're going to interact and you can once when you when you tag them and if they see it if they like it right you might actually uh, build up a even better relationship and probably they, they're going to send you the original post so you can actually share even with with better quality and this is how you actually you know step by step you repost other people's story with giving them credit, of course. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download for free Instagram Reel videos. Let's jump right to Instagram and let's try to find the video that we want to download. Okay. Let's say we want to download this video over here. All you got to do is to click on the three dots on the top right corner of the video, right? And I want you to click link. There is a button, the second button, link. You want to click on it. And we just copied the link from the video on our clipboard. Now I want you to go on Google Chrome and I want you to look for this website over here. It's called publer.io. When you're at Publer, all you got to do is to, again, paste the link that we just copied and click download. So this particular website over here will download videos for you without watermark. Uh, they don't ask you for registrations and 
also I'm looking here they said there is no ads on the website I don't know I'm scrolling through the feed I cannot see any okay here is the video over here here is the download button you can actually just click post and if you have linked your IG which I'm not suggesting uh, I haven't linked my IG so essentially also guys this website allows you to download photos from Instagram videos from Instagram stories from Instagram also you can download TikTok videos from here for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to hide your instagram followers and instagram following list first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your profile picture then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines you want to click on the three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy then you want to scroll down and you want to find a section that is called who can see your content you see account privacy is the first option you want to click on the account privacy currently my account is public but if i want to hide everything i can simply toggle this on and it will turn my account private what this actually means this means that all the content that i previously posted all the followers that i have all the following people that following me simply will not be available for other people to see my content only will remain available for my current followers and everyone who comes to my profile and sees for example i have 100 followers and i'm following 100 people they will be able to see the number 100 but they are not going to be able to click on this number they're not going to be able to scroll through my followers or through my following list this is very important. This is how you keep up with your privacy. This is how you prevent particular people to, you know, dig in uh, and essentially trying to, you know, create something negative for you or your own content. This is how you actually go about providing a protection on your following list, on your followers and on your content. Again, a very important note is that if you have a business account on Instagram, you're not going to be able to turn it into private from business account you have to go back to the personal account and then you can make your personal account private uh, this is very important note i, I want to make sure you guys are aware of this uh, for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to get back your recently deleted highlights on instagram very easy very simple let's launch the instagram app first then I want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture. Then I want you to hit the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Now I want you to scroll down to the section your activity is the fourth option. I want you to click on it. Then when you are on your activity, you want to scroll down to removed and archived content. I want you to click on recently deleted. And here you will find all the deleted posts, all the deleted stories, IGTV, all the deleted videos and reels, including highlights on your own profile. Everything will be over here and you will simply be able to click on it and restore the content. Very easy, very simple. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily deactivate your Instagram account. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. The first thing that you want to do is to you want to click on the lower right corner with your profile picture. You click on it when you already launch your own page. The top left corner is where you see your name and your nickname. And on the top right side is the three lines that you want to click on. When you click the three lines, you will have the options menu where the first one is settings and privacy is the one that you're looking for you click on settings and privacy and then you click on the brand new function that was added through the recent update which is account center you click on the account center then you want to look at the second part of the menu which is titled account settings now you want to click on personal details you click on personal details and here you will find account ownership and control this is the final menu we're going to launch you click on it 
now you're having account ownership and control already launched this is where you're going to find how to permanently deactivate or delete your account very important there is a huge difference between both actions and i want to make sure that you're aware what could happen if you choose one over the another when you click on deactivation or deletion you will simply see the page that is associated with this account or other pages associated with this account if you linked multiple pages this is very important because in this way you might actually choose to permanently delete download your data and forget about this account or you can simply deactivate the account for extended time frame in which you're not going to be able to communicate or not going to be able to uh, simply interact with with your followers this is important because anyone who actually message you or try to reach you out when your account is actually deactivated they won't be able to do so in fact new people won't be able to find you at all when your account is actually deleted you would have 30 days in which if you change your mind you will be able to log back in and actually to relaunch and recover your account this is very important this is also the rule that works for facebook if you try to delete your account or facebook page you have 30 days grace period in which if you change your mind you're still going to be able to regain access to your account for more videos like this guys subscribe to the channel and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to hide your instagram followers in your following list first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture you want to click on it then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines you want to click on them and then you want to click on settings and privacy then you want to slowly but surely scroll down to the section that is called who can see your content you want to click on the first option which is account privacy when you're at account privacy if you want to hide your account your followers your following list you have to toggle this in this will simply transform your account from public to private and this means that the only people that still will be able to see your content, your photos and pictures will be the people who are currently following you, people who accepted to become your followers. This doesn't mean that you cannot filter the content and the privacy even more. You can actually filter from your current following list to particular people not seeing your content this is similar as the one that you have on facebook where you can post and the post will be visible for your friends and you can accept some of your friends to not see the post what else well according to instagram when you actually make your account private your post simply can be seen by any one of your instagram even if they don't have an instagram account okay when your account is private only the followers who you approve like i mentioned will be able to see your content and again you know how sometimes you're able to find people by looking at their name or their nickname but you cannot see who are they following you see they're following 100 people you try to click you cannot see who they're following you see they have 100 followers you try to click you cannot see who is following them this is what actually comes from making your account private for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to add music to your instagram post first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. You click on the profile picture and when you're on your actual profile, you want to head to the top right corner and hit the plus sign. You want to select a post. Then when you decide which post you want to post, for example, we have this picture. I'm going to use this picture and I'm going to hit next. This is the step where you can actually add the music. 
looking at the center of the screen, you have, you have the small note icon. You click on the note icon and this is where you find all the music. So music is split into two different options. First of all, you have For You, which is currently popular. We're at Christmas time. As you can see, a lot of Christmas songs. The second option is you can actually manually browse through different genres. You have birthday celebration music. You have R&B, so pop, rap, hip hop, whatever, right? So you can go about manual or you can go to what is currently popular. Next, right before moving to the next step, you can simply select the different filters for your posts right over here. You don't have to wait for the next step. After you select the filters, you can simply move and click next. This is where you add captions, uh, as usual, location, hashtags, but very, very important. I'm going to give you this pro tip. Let's say you didn't like the song that you add, but you're already at the last step of the posting, right? You don't have to go back. Here is why. You can actually change the song if you scroll down. You see a menu option that it says add music. This is where you can actually replace the previous song or choose a new one without losing the progress of the post. Very simple, very easy. When you change the song, you just hit next and there you have it. This is how you add music to your Instagram post. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add song or music on your Instagram story. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then you want to head to the top left corner and you want to click on the plus sign next to your story. Now, let's select the piece of content we want to upload. We chose this picture. And now, if you look at the top settings menu, you will have a small note icon. You want to click on the small note icon. And this is where you will be able to find a bunch of music, a bunch of songs. There is different categorization over here. The first category over here is for you. So this is what is currently trending. The second option will be to simply browse through different genres. Birthday songs, R&B songs, pop, hip hop whatever if you're looking for a particular song you have to head to the top where you see the search bar and it says search music you want to click on it and you want to input the title or the artist when you finish finding the song all you gotta do is to click add and this will simply appear over here now if you proceed with publishing right there isn't a chance to replace the song i show you in other videos how if you add music to your regular instagram post or on your instagram story the last step before publishing the story or the post you will have additional option to replace or change the song in instagram story you don't have this option so essentially you want to be very careful when you're picking up the song because when you click next or when you click share that that's going to be it right you're not able to edit or change it after publishing the story if you did a mistake now, then you have to delete it and start all over again. And this is how you add music to your Instagram story. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to snooze the recommended post and the suggested post on Instagram feed. Let's dive in. First thing, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to head to the lower right corner and you want to click on your profile picture. Then when you're on your profile, you want to go ahead and click on the three straight, on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then I want you to click on settings and privacy. And then you have to slowly scroll down to the section that is called what you see. I want you to click on content preferences. In content preferences, you have an option which is snooze suggested post in the feed. When you actually click this one on, you will have all the suggested posts will be hidden in your feed for the next 30 more days. Okay, this is a good thing if you don't interact with any of the suggested posts. Remember, suggested posts are not usually something that the algorithm of Instagram knows you're going to like for sure. They're just testing you. So they want to make sure that 
what you're watching is the closest possible to your interest so in the future they will be able to offer ads in front of you that you most likely going to buy right the conversion rates will be higher and this is good for the business of instagram because they will bring much more people to run ads on the platform so this is how you're going to snooze the actual suggestions now if we go back right to the feed and click the home page well guess what you're not gonna get any particular suggestions that are not related because as you saw my account is related to windsurfing right so if i'm on the home page right i'm gonna get all the content that is coming from people who i'm currently following right but when i click on search right it's usually gonna give me content that i'm not subscribed to but uh, after we actually snooze the suggestions as you can see i'm getting mostly uh surfing content mostly uh, content related to my followers so this is good guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this simple video i'm going to show you how to archive and unarchive posts on instagram very easy simple let's dive in first thing first let's launch the instagram app then you want to grow on your profile bunch of posts let's say for example we want to archive this one over here you want to click on the three dots on the top and you want to click on the third option which says archive you click archive and there you have it the post is no longer on the actual feed as you can see the post was number one the post is no longer here let's say you did a mistake let's say you like this video you want to get this video back and you want to unarchive this video how are you going to go about it well it is not so complicated but i would say it it is very very slim because if you go back to the three dots on the top right corner and then when you click on archive the fifth option over here you have three options the default option will be this and when you go here you're not gonna find what you just archived because it is a post it is not a story also you have live archives live videos that you publish or you went live right so this is why this is the slim part like i mentioned you have to go on the actual type of content that you archived in our case we have two videos this is the first one we actually archived so let me show you how we are going to unarchive this video we're going to click on the three dots on the top and then you're going to click on show on profile boom the video is no longer archived the video is no longer inside the archive we have one more video i don't know when and why i did actually archive this one again three dots on the top and then show on profile boom we have no longer posts on archive very simple very easy you refresh the feed boom the, the video is here everything is here for more tips like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to schedule a post on instagram let's launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower right corner and hit on the profile okay then you want to hit on the top right corner and click on the three straight lines now when you're on the settings menu i want you to click on the third option which is schedule content when you click on schedule content now we have the option to schedule a brand new post you want to click on schedule now let's select the post this is what we're going to schedule you can actually select the multiple images multiple posts by simply clicking on the double square or pictures or videos whatever you like when you're ready with a single post in our case you can press next and then you can press next if you're ready you can add more music over here you're not gonna do that you can press next and then you have a very small interesting option over here which is essentially schedule the post not posting it if you click advanced settings you can click over here and you can click schedule this post when you do this you can schedule the timing you can schedule the date you can schedule the am or the pm and then you can simply click done and there you have it your post will be scheduled for posting at this time at this day for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can share instagram reels on your story on instagram this is a brand new feature very few people know about okay let's launch the instagram app and let's find a reels that 
it's cool and it looks good that's something that we can actually share on our story something that will vibe with us let's say for example i like this one so let's say i want to share this to my personal story so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to click on the paper airplane underneath okay when you're over here you see there is a section that it says add to story so i'm going to click on this add to story and this will automatically proceed with creation of brand new story on your account you can edit by simply adding the original creator tagging him giving credits and then click share this is how simple it is guys we are one of the very few people who know about this method for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to download instagram reels without watermarks for absolutely for free first thing you want to launch the instagram app and then let's scroll through the feed of reels and let's try to find some reel that we like okay let's say i want to download this reel over here so how are we going to go about i want to click on the paper airplane as you can see over here underneath the post then i'm going to select copy link after we copy the link on the clipboard we want to go to this website over here look at this it's called publer.io you want to click on the publer.io you want to come on the search box you want to paste the link from the video then you want to hit download so this website is cool because as you can see underneath it processes very fast you can click download from here but it, the site has no ads has no watermarks and no registration is required that's what it says also you can download ig photos ig videos ig stories even TikTok videos. So this is how you can download reels for free guys. For more videos like this, subscribe and like this video. How to start Instagram theme page business. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna be quickly talking about Instagram theme page business and how you can run it for yourself in the easiest way. So to start things off, first of all, we're going to go to Instagram. So in Instagram, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the bottom right section. Now, as you can see, I don't have a business, but you can see one recurring theme. I have a drama account. OK, so basically the theme you're going to set can be any niche or category your page can be in. So it can be, you know, wealth inspiring videos. It could be, uh, you know, influencer videos, beauty product videos. So these are themes that you're going to need to set up for yourself. So choose a theme, okay? And you're going to start uploading content about that theme. So as you can see, I have a lot of drumming videos, right? So there's drums, there's more drums, there's more drums, there's just music, drums, more drums. So you get what I mean. So once you upload this content, what you're going to do, you're going to go to settings and privacy. You are going to go to your account preferences okay so account type and tools and now you're going to switch to professional account which will take you into a business spotlight and that is about it so that's how you can start an instagram theme page business hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create your carousel post on instagram first of all let's launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower middle side of the settings with the plus sign then you want to select the images as you can see i can select multiple images but the small tip over here is that you want to click on the double square on the lower right corner you see the double square you click on the double square and now you can select multiple images in our case we're going to select a couple of images and then we can proceed by clicking next on the top right corner then you can actually adjust the brightness the filters you can make it more brighter darker cooler warmer it's up to you guys you want to make sure the theme is nice then you see the top middle side of the menu there is a note sign this is a pro tip that i'm going to give you for free you can actually add music by clicking on the top middle side of the screen this is where you can actually select a theme song imagine you're on vacation in the mountains you you just you know take plenty of images of the snow and the forest and then you you go back and you want to create a special christmas theme right you just add the music as you can see we have on the top 
very nice Christmas songs. You add this song to your Christmas carousel with three, four, five, six images from the mountain, from the snow, from the trees, and you essentially have, if not the perfect post. This is very important because remember, the length of your post in the duration has to match with the length of the song. You have to adjust the length of each to align. Next thing you want to do is you want to click next on the top right corner when you finish editing. And there, this is where the magic happens. If you simultaneously decide to change the music, you do not have to go back on the previous menu. If you want to change the song, all we got to do is to scroll down and there is a special section that is called add music. This will simply let you to change the song at the last step right over here. You don't have to lose your progress and you don't have to go back. You can change the song from here and then when you're ready, just add a new song and proceed with posting. Don't forget to include as usual your metadata and all the necessary hashtags. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete Instagram search suggestions when you're actually typing or searching for something. Let's jump on Instagram app. In this particular example, we're gonna click right over here and then we're gonna click on the magnifying glass so we can go and test the search bar, right? As you can see, we have a search suggestion which is essentially Land Rover Defender. This is something I searched previously. So how are we going to delete this search suggestion? Well, we're going to click on the X sign next to it. And now when you actually refresh and we go back to the search bar, well, guess what? We have zero search suggestions. This is very important because you probably searched something that was trendy right now, but it's no longer trendy, so you're not probably going to search for it anymore. Uh, this is how it's going to work, guys. Subscribe and follow for more tips and tricks like this. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your Instagram search history. Very easy, very simple. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner, where is your profile image. Then you want to go on the top, where is the three straight lines button. Okay, you click on it. Then, next step is to click on Settings and Privacy, the first option. Then you want to click on Account Center. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on Your Information and Permissions. <laughs> I understand Facebook did it so, so complicated. It's not as easy as if you try to do the same thing on Facebook. Now, when you're on this menu, Your Information and Permissions, you have to click on Search History, the third option over here. So the main point over here is that by default, if you don't do anything about it, Instagram will keep your search history and your Instagram search history will be stored for only 30 days period, which if you search a lot of things might not be a big issue for you because every 30 days you got automatic restart. But if you want to delete a particular time frame, as you can see over here, you can actually select manually between three days seven days and 14 days this means that after three days your history will be automatically deleted after seven days will be automatically deleted and 14 days so this is how you can go about it or you can actually manually go back right over here and click on the plus blue button which says clear all searches and you can do that by clearing for the last hour clearing yesterday and clearing all time. So you want to make sure what exactly you're trying to achieve. Do you want to delete some recent searches or search queries? Do you want to delete something that is, you know, in the period of a week or two? Uh, and do you want to delete absolutely everything? Do you want to start from scratch? You want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add music on multiple posts at the same time. Something like a carousel, but you're able to add music on top of it. Let's dive in. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower plus sign in the middle, like a regular post. The most important part here is to click on the double square. It is next to the camera icon. Click on the double square and now you're able to click on multiple different pictures. Let's for our example, select these two and then click on the top right corner where it says next. You click on next and 
Here you have the option to click on the top middle side of the equation where you actually see the node sign. This is where you're able to add the music and you're able to add music that matches on your carousel, right? In our example, we use two images. The duration of the images might be equal to the duration of the song or might not be equal, depend on you. So you scroll around here, you can select by genre and you can select by individual songs over here. When you select your song, then you go back, everything as usual. You press next and the last step, of course, will let you, if you decide to change your mind and change the song, you can do so by doing or scrolling on this page. You don't have to go back and lose the progress. You can change the song by add music over here. You click on this page and you can replace the song. Very easy and simple. You don't have to lose your progress. Everything else is as usual. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your Instagram account private, how to hide the people that you're following and the people who are following you. In other words, how to hide your following list. First thing, let's launch the Instagram app. Next thing you want to do, you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on them. And then you want to click on settings and privacy. Next thing you want to click, you want to scroll down and you want to click on account privacy. You want to click on this one and this is where you can turn your account from public to private. You click on this and this is what you've been warned from Instagram. Business accounts can be private. This is a very good reminder. This means that if you really want to turn your account private, you got to switch from business account to a creator account. This is something very important because business accounts sole purpose to exist or to convert the regular account is to sell something to be public and to share content. Uh, they are very beneficial for Instagram algorithm. So this is how you're going to go about it. If you have a personal or creator account, this is how you can actually shift from public to private. You, go, you have to toggle this in. What this will do, essentially, when you toggle this on, this will simply hide your posts, the posts that you're tagged on, the posts that you created, liked, followed. Also, on top of that, when your account is private, only followers you approve can see what you share, including photos, videos, hashtags, location pages, followers, and following list. This means that even if somebody followed you, right? You prove them, but they still might not be able to do so because you filter a particular followers to see the pictures, the hashtags, the contents, the locations. You know how sometimes somebody follows you, you want to follow them back and Instagram is telling you your following request has been sent. This means that you cannot follow them automatically. This is how you turn your account private and how they have to approve you to be part of their following list. Because even though you're not following them, right? You click on, on, on their followers, you cannot see them. You click on the people they follow, you cannot see them simply because the account has been turned into private. And like I mentioned, if you have a business account, you cannot do that. First step will be for you to switch from business to creator or from business to personal account. And then you can come to this setting over here. Remember the steps very well, right? Settings and privacy, scroll down to account privacy. And this is where you actually shift for more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock people from Instagram. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy. When you're on settings and privacy, you want to scroll down a little to the section that is called who can see your content. This is very, very important. Why? Because here you will find the option that it says blocked. When you click on blocked, you will find all the accounts that you block from your Instagram page. This is where you can actually click unblock individually and simply scroll through the list of all the accounts. Uh, I wish they had an option where you can actually go and search. As you can see over here, the plus sign, uh, 
uh, I didn't have so many people blocked, but if you have like tons of people blocked and you know you met someone that you blocked like a couple of years ago and you want to reestablish the, the relationship, the connection, the friendship, right? You can click on the plus sign, click here on the search bar and simply look for the person. This is also very helpful otherwise you just had to scroll <laughs> and if you have like thousands of people if you have your account created five ten years ago right you will have a bunch of scrolling doing so this is how we can go about it the other option of course will be to simply go on the actual instagram feed you going to click on the second option where is the magnifying glass and then you will go on the search bar and probably look for the person when you find the person from here, you will have its account and you will have the option to unblock it from the account straight up. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to report an Instagram account. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then let's go on the search bar and find an account that we want to report on. For this video, I'm going to use an Apple account for example only don't do it if you really don't have nothing to report on let's say for example you already have account that you want to report you found an account which is suspicious looks like a scam or you have certain evidence that something is wrong with this account maybe someone is impersonating someone else's so we're gonna go on the account and you want to click on the three dots on the top right corner on the account this is what kind of menu you're gonna see in front of you you will have the restricted option, the block option, and the report option as well. Three options, as you can see, they're highlighted with red. Uh, I presume Instagram already is aware that if you're on this option, you will be looking for some of these three options. Main difference over here, if you report an account in which you probably click on, we click report. This is a simple process that you will go through. What do you want to report, right? The report is anonymous very important no one will know that you report them that you report their account or, or something right uh, very important the 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 metrics that you're going to report on could be under you know intellectual property infringement right if someone is in in danger if there is some emergency services but remember they could be uh, scams and spams and could be something wrong right someone might pretend to be someone that he is not uh, you can actually report uh, individual posts. You don't have to report the whole account, which is, again, very, very helpful. And the third option is something is wrong with the account itself. Uh, this is the three options. Someone is underage. Remember, this app is only allowed for people that are above certain age. Uh, someone is pretending or could be pretending to be somebody else, right? Somebody could pretend to be a Nike as a brand and selling, you know, shoes. Someone could pretend to be a celebrity, you know. Uh, very important because as you can see, the last option over here is the you report the account or the activity because there is something wrong. The account is a spam. Uh, you just don't like the account. This is also an option. As crazy as it sounds, this exists as an option in your report uh, filings. There are other things that are also obviously here that are not accepted or appropriate for the platform. So essentially, there is a wide range of complaints or, you know, dislikes that you could have with this account. But again, my advice is that if you just don't like the account, just, you know, block the account uh, and you don't see anything from it. You don't have to, you know, block or try to come up with some reasoning for you to report the account. Just don't be, don't be, you know, mean and, and don't do stupid things on the platform. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete permanently your Instagram account. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. When you're on your feed, you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture. Then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on them and then you want to launch the first option in the menu, which is settings and privacy. You click on settings and privacy and then you want to click on account center. When you're at account center, you want to focus on the second part of the menu, which is the lower screen account settings. You want to click on personal details. When you're at personal details, 
Here you will find the information that we actually talk about. You will have the option to check the account ownership and to control the actual ownership of the account, meaning that deactivation and deletion will be here. I want to make sure that you completely understand how deactivation or deletion works. When you delete your account, your data will be lost, will be gone, and you will have up to 30 days to go back, log in, and essentially reopen your account. If you don't do so, your account will be gone, will be deleted permanently. And all the data, of course, will be lost. The second option is deactivation. This simply means that your account will be deactivated. Your account will not be searchable. People will not be able to find your account. Your content will be hidden. And essentially how you reactivate the account, well, you simply log in back again. This is how simple as it is works. Uh, I believe that, you know, if you're not sure what you really want to do with your account, I think it's better option just to, at this point, either make it private, which means that your account will still be visible and your content still will be visible for your followers, people who approved to follow you, right? But if you really want to hide yourself and hide the content, but you're not sure you want to delete the account, deactivation, in my opinion, of course, uh, sounds like the better option. But surely, if you want to leave the social media in general, uh, probably you really want to delete your account. Just keep in mind that after you click delete, you have 30 days to go back and essentially recover your account. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Instagram Reels. First thing, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the Rios icon on the right side. You never got married. I never had. You want to stop the sound. And let's say we want to download this video. We want to click on the three dots on the lower right corner of the Rio, right? And now you want to copy the link. Click at the link button over here. Now the link has been copied. All we got to do is to go on Google, right? You click on Google Chrome. And you got to find an app that is called Publer dot io this app has no ads no watermarks no registration uh, let's paste the link over here and let's click download as you can see now the reel has been processed if you scroll down you would find if you click play this is going to be video and here you're going to click download this is where you're going to download as you can see, also, you can paste and copy and download Instagram photos, Instagram videos, Instagram stories. You can also download TikTok videos. Uh, very, very interesting stuff over here. As usual, guys, do your own research and due diligence. Uh, there is obviously much more to learn, but this is what I've seen a lot of people are using to download Instagram Reels. Uh, for more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your Instagram data. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on your activity. Then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page where you see information you shared with Instagram. You want to click on download your information. When you click on download your information, you will be automatically prompted to download your information. You can request a copy of your information at any time. When your file is ready, you will have four days to download your information from this page. This means that it's not automatic, guys. You have to wait and you have to be ready for it. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tag someone on Instagram story. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to head to the top where you see the plus sign. You want to click on the plus sign and then you want to click story then you want to select what type of content you want to publish like this one over here and this is where the magic happens you want to head to the top 
settings of the menu and you want to click on the letter icon with double a now to tag someone you got to click on the lower left side where it says mention you want to click on mention the add sign will pop out in our case we're going to use apple because we do have an iphone on the actual content this is where you actually tag the person you find the person or the company and it will pop out underneath there you have it you find apple then you will, you can actually move this left and right you can make it big or very 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 small and you can place it over here or over here right very nice tidy needy but also you can do you can tag and, and multiple people just simply go back to the double letter icon on the top and then you click again the mention and you can mention someone else for example you can do something like you know something like tech reviews or tech related channel or anything related to it this is how simple it is guys to find someone tag it on instagram story and simply create your story for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to tag someone on instagram post first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your profile picture then when you're on your profile you're going to head towards the plus sign you want to click on the plus sign and then you want to create a new post after you select which type of picture or video you want to publish you want to make sure that you are moving forward after you edit the songs over here then you want to click next and this is where you can actually tag people you click on tag people and you can simply click on the actual photo or video on the piece of content that you're about to publish and then you can search for it you can search for the person or you can search for the company in our case you can see let's take an example you we saw ronaldo right you took a selfie with ronaldo you google for ronaldo and bam you already found ronaldo here you tag ronaldo and you will see all the people or the companies or the profiles that you actually tag on your piece of content for example you did a mistake how you can actually remove this person from it all you gotta do is to click again on the picture on the actual tag and you can click x and this is how you add or remove people or profiles from the actual piece of content that you previously tag very simple very clear very visual also you see a small option underneath which allows you to invite people to collaborate with let's say you have someone with you right another content creator who saw you with Ronaldo, you took a pictures with him, maybe you took a video with him. So you want to add this person as a partner in this video, collaborator, right? Let's say you met Casey Neistat, right? And you made a video with Casey Neistat, he was with you, with Ronaldo. You can add him. You see how it works? Now we add collaborator inside our piece of content. It's very, very cool because now you have the option not only to tag the person that you interviewed but you can also also add someone else that took part of the interview and help you taking the interview so as you can see guys it's very simple it's very intuitive for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to schedule instagram posts first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to click on the plus sign in the middle of the lower screen after you click the plus sign you can select the image that you want to upload this is going to be our image right you can add music on the top middle side of the corner you can actually add additional effects as a background making it more boost or not so boost then when you finish that on the lower side you have additional filters that will help you choose the different contrast and saturation when you finish with that press next on the top right corner then as usual you want to include the caption the hashtags five to eight the most niched ones don't go general because general it will be very hard for you to actually rank then when you finish with that you can scroll down and the most important part over here is to click on advanced settings right before posting this is where you can actually find the first option which is schedule this post when you click on schedule this post on the right side and toggle this in you will have the option to choose the particular day 
the particular time and the particular part of the day a.m or p.m this essentially means that if you are traveling overseas or if you're traveling in the other part of the country where they have a different time zone it is very important for you to still reach your target audience if your audience is located on the east coast and you're traveling on the west coast you want to make sure that you utilize the a.m p.m version of this this is also very helpful especially if you're traveling and if you don't have wi-fi on the plane this means that when you schedule the post your post will go live even though you're still somewhere out there right in the air or you're checking in or you're arriving from from some other destination so this is very helpful and very easy to adapt for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more